This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. What's up guys, Josh here. I want to show you guys a feature in Adobe Premiere Pro called Auto Save. Now go into Adobe Premiere Pro, click on Edit, and then click on Preferences. Within Preferences, you're going to then click on Auto Save. Make sure that you are saving every one minute, and then make sure that your maximum project versions is set at something crazy like 200. Basically, what you're telling Premiere is that you want to save a duplicate of your original project file every one minute, and you want to continue to do that 200 times. So that means in a special folder, which is called your Auto Save folder, which is going to be a folder right next to where your project file is. You're going to have 200 versions of the last 200 minutes of your project file. For instance, if you were working at one o'clock, you would know that you would have a duplicate from one o'clock all the way for the last 200 minutes, which is amazing because that means that your computer could crash or you could have a power outage and you wouldn't even have to worry about your project being saved. You know that the least amount of work that you would lose is one minute. Now, what you should still always do is you should still always go into file as often as you can and then do save project or control S, which is the hotkey. The reason is this auto save feature never saves over your original project file as saying control S would. So what it's doing is it's actually creating a new duplicated file that you can't access unless you actually go into the autosave folder where you can see all your 200 autosaved project files. So it just saves you a little bit of work. The autosave feature is a great option of last resort, but say that your computer actually does crash. Now you're going to actually have to go back into that autosave folder, find the time that you want to revert back to and then you're going to have to change the name and save it over your original project file so that this autosave project file is now your new original project file. So it just takes a little bit of work. So it's a lot easier just to always do control save as often as you can and your original project file will always be updated automatically. All right, thanks for watching guys. Thou hast loved me, espoused me, received me, purchased, washed, adorned me.